going on everybody? Josh here, Fit Freaks AZ. So today I want to review Mansports PRXT. Um, I've searched the internet uh, for the last couple months looking for any video reviews of Mansports PRXT and I haven't found one. So I decided, you know, why not put one out myself? Just talk about the ingredients really quick and then talk about my experience with it and what I thought. Um, so it's got 168 capsules. The dosing is six capsules per day. Um, that should last you 28 days. As far as the dosing, they recommend two pre-workout, two post-workout, and two uh, later on in the evening if you train in the mornings. And that's, that's the way I dosed it because I do train in the mornings. Um, on non-training days, you take two in the morning, two in the afternoon, two in the evening. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Pretty simple, um, really easy to follow. As far as the ingredients go, there are two different blends, or three different blends, sorry, uh, in this product. The first blend is the anabolic enhancement. You get anacyclist pyrethrum, standardized for a 5 to 1 extract, and you get 3,200 milligrams of that. Uh, the next is a 10 to 1 extract of Brassiopsis glomerulata. Uh, and that's at 100 milligrams. So I want to talk about those two ingredients first before moving on. Uh, from what I found, anacyclis has been shown to help increase testosterone production in rats, um, as well as luteinizing hormone and follicle-stimulating hormone. Uh, it was given in three different doses, and it was shown that an increase in testosterone was dose-dependent. So in this case, the larger the dose, the more testosterone production there was or more free testosterone there was. Um, so that was at 150 milligrams per kilogram um, of body weight. 150 milligrams or micrograms? I think it was milligrams. Per kilogram of body weight for the rats. So when you do the conversion for humans, um, they used the body surface area conversion. Um, for a 200 pound male, you would need at the highest dosage that they gave the rats, you would need approximately 2,200 milligrams of the anacyclis uh, for it to produce the same results, in theory. Um, so 3,200 milligrams is more than enough. It should be more than enough. Uh, it was for me, I'm less than 200 pounds, so I thought it was effective. Uh, as far as the Brassiopsis, the dosing on that, I didn't see any dosing protocol for that, but it has been shown to um, inhibit uh, aromatase enzyme, which uh, is involved with the conversion of testosterone into estrogen. Obviously, it's a bad thing when you're looking to gain muscle and if you're looking to boost testosterone. Uh, it's Both of these ingredients are becoming very popular. Uh, you can find anacyclis and brassiopsis in uh, Gaspar's Anatropin, which is a pretty popular product and uh, gets a lot of positive reviews from what I've seen. Um, it, the Brassiopsis has also been used in German Sports, Triazole, and Activate uh, for a while now. And the Brassiopsis is also now in iForces Intimidate SRT. Uh, they just reformulated Intimidate by adding Brassiopsis. And they added actually a pretty good amount. I think they added like 500 milligrams per capsule, which is pretty good. Uh, the next blend in here, you get the Beta 2 Leaning and Hardening Blend at 50 milligrams. Um, you get n coumeryl dopamine and n caffeyl dopamine. Um, those are difficult words to say. I don't even know if I said them right, honestly. Uh, it doesn't give the exact dosages of, of what they are. It just gives a 50 milligram blend. Uh, these two ingredients can be found in Compound 20. Um, and I believe you can find... You can also find it in Physique Enhancing Sciences, um, Alphamine, their fat burner, powdered fat burner. So, uh, after Compound 20 was released from USP Labs, these ingredients kind of caught a little bit of attention um, simply because by activating the beta 2 receptors, you can burn fat and build muscle simultaneously. Um, this is something that a lot of people took clenbuterol for, which is a steroid. Uh, clenbuterol 
or a drug or however you want to put it. Um, but clenbuterol was very effective at uh, doing this, burning fat and building muscle, a leaning and hardening agent. However, clenbuterol has a lot of negative side effects. Um, and if not used correctly, can cause enough health problems to induce death. Um, the, these two ingredients are found in the cocoa plant and studies show that they are very effective at being beta 2 agonists in vitro. Uh, in vivo, it's thought that they won't survive um, oral ingestion simply because there's an enzyme in the body that breaks these, these two ingredients down. Um, however, I read a, an article in Muscular Development a while ago, I think it was shortly after USP Labs came out with Compound 20, and it said that when taken in combination with caffeine or green tea extract standardized for a high level of EGCG, um, the caffeine and EGCG will inhibit these enzymes, um, which may allow these two ingredients to work their magic, basically. Um, so taking it with your pre-workout may help to allow it, assuming your pre-workout stimulant uh, based, may help to allow it uh, to be a little bit more effective. Um, but like I said, it, it hasn't really been tested in humans. Um, you know, compound 20 is kind of hit and miss. Um, and then from what I've seen for from PRXT, it's, it's pretty similar. So as far as the third blend, you get the testes LH stimulation, LH being luteinizing hormone. Uh, you get vitamin D3 at 4,000 units and zinc at 30 milligrams. Uh, both of these ingredients are shown to help maintain healthy testosterone levels. Um, oh, and then one more thing about the anacyclist. Uh, it's also found in physique enhancing sciences, Anabeta and Anabeta Elite. Uh, so as far as my thoughts on Man Sports PRXT, uh, I ran it for 28 days. However, the last three days, I only did four caps per day um, because I actually got shorted a full day. At that point, it didn't really matter, I don't think, because it was already in my system, for one. And two, even at four caps, I'm getting a little over 2,000 milligrams. Um, so I was getting, I felt, an adequate dose of the anacyclist. The 2,000 milligrams of the anacyclist is what I was referring to. Uh, so, you know, like I said, by that time, it I feel like it's already built up in my system. It I should have been okay. Um, throughout the course of the four weeks, I saw an increase in strength. I saw a slight increase in uh, size. Um, I was really paying more close attention to my chest um, simply because that's my lagging body part. So that's where I was really looking for growth. Um, so I saw a little bit more size there. Um, it significantly increased my appetite probably around the second week. Um, and it really hasn't gone away. Even after coming off of this, uh, my appetite is still pretty high, I feel like. And I have done it. I've eaten all day long all kinds of different food, bad food, good food. And it just feels like I never get full. It's crazy. Um, However, when I was using this, I, because of my appetite, I did increase my food intake a little bit. Uh, I went from, I think it was over the course of a, uh, like a week, I went from 3,200 milligrams or 3,200 calories to 3,500 calories per day. And I was consuming probably about 360, 370 grams of carbs and around 300 to 325 grams of protein per day. And then my fat intake varied. It was probably around anywhere from like 75 to 100 grams per day. Um, but even while increasing carb, just even while increasing my, my calorie intake, um, I was still leaning out. I was losing weight, which was insane. So I was gaining strength, losing body fat. The, the body recompositioning for this is ridiculous. I absolutely loved it. Um, which is why I incorporated it into my pre-contest stack now. Um, and I plan on running it for eight weeks instead of the four. Um, you know, it, it, it was used in combination with Novadrain XT, which is Mansports dubbed their anabolic um, algorithm stack. 
And I've used Novadrain XT in the past uh, for an eight week cycle and I ran it by itself um, and I had great results with that uh, as far as leaning out, but as far as good strength gains and an increase in appetite, I didn't see anything like that with Novadrain. So I definitely know it's the PRXT. Um, and I've used Anabeta Elite before from Physique Enhancing Science. And I did see a slight increase in um, appetite there. But as far as uh, a recompositioning effect, I didn't see any of that. And I even stacked the Anabeta Elite with uh, Physique Enhancing Science's Erase Pro. And I felt like I didn't really see the results um, with that that I did with PRXT and Novadren XT. Um, so I feel those two stacked together is just a ridiculous stack. But back to the PRXT. Um, overall, I really like this product. I definitely recommend it to somebody who's trying to gain some strength and put on a little bit of size. It's not a miracle pill. If you're not going to gain you know, massive increases on, you know, your bench press or your squat or anything like that. Um, I did set a couple of PRs while using this, but it wasn't anything insane. Like, I didn't jump, you know, 40 pounds on my deadlift or anything crazy like that. It, you know, be realistic. If you're a natural athlete or you're, you're a natural bodybuilder or something like that, um, and you've been training for a while, the reality is you're your gains are going to be a lot smaller um, because you're reaching your genetic potential. So, you know, these will these supplements may help give you that extra little edge, but that's all it is. It's an extra little edge. It's not going to be, you know, mind-blowing. Now, if you're a beginner, obviously you're going to make larger gains. Um, this may help to increase um, either the speed or the, the amount of the gains. But, you know, I... Just want you guys to realize that it's not a miracle pill. It's not a miracle supplement, but I do like it, and I do feel it is effective um, at body recompositioning while increasing strength and lean body mass. Um, so I definitely recommend it to anyone looking, yeah, basically to anyone looking for a recomp um, who can control their cravings. That is a caveat because. If you can't control your cravings, I wouldn't recommend this product simply because it increases your appetite so much. I had to cut myself off at 3,500 calories. Like I still wanted to eat more, um, but I knew that it wasn't in my best interest to eat anything more than that. So, anyways, this video is getting kind of long. Um, so that's just my two cents on Man Sports PRXT. Uh, if it's something that you're interested in, check it out. I highly recommend it. I'll post a link to my written review um, and my log that I had for this uh, stack that I did, the PRXT, um, Novadren XT, and I also stacked it with uh, Betancourt's Adaptadren, uh, which is their Diaspartic based um, testosterone booster. So, thanks for watching. Take care, everybody.